Good afternoon, friends. Yesterday, we talked about decision taking decisions under difficult situations. In the continuation, today we are going to talk about decisions coming from a trained, disciplined mind. Remember, the success depends from upon cons consistently making high quality decisions. Choosing and implementing best course of action requires disciplined thinking. There are some set rules, a set pattern. If you follow that, you can train your mind and discipline your mind to take a right decision. And today we are going to discuss those itself. Firstly, and the first most step is define the problem. Outline what you have to decide and why, ha why you have to decide. The frames have enormous power. The way people frame, frame a problem it greatly influences the solution. Frames that people allow or organizations routinely use for their problems, control, how they will react to everything they encounter. What are these frames? Frames are nothing but breaking the problem into logical parts. If you want to define the problem, break the problem into logical small parts and this breaking helps in simplifying the issue. Once you have defined the problem, now you have to establish objectives. For establishing objectives, clarify the uh, clarify, state the goals. Clarify the requirements that your solutions should meet. Place them into the order of importance. Having too many variables will uh, complicate the problem and make it absolutely impracticable or unmanageable keep things simple right from the beginning dwell on a urgency and time available for arriving at a decision decides other attributes like who will be involved in decision making what are the rules of the thumb to be followed what processes will be issued once you have established your objectives, your next step will be collecting relevant data. Method methodically, gather all the facts and research for information. Clearly understand the underlying causes, possibilities, probabilities, time constraints, emotions, personal interest or stress and uh, uh, work on avoidables. Guard against the tendency of gathering facts that support certain conclusions, but disregard facts supporting different conclusions. Accordingly, you should next you should develop the Alternate. Once you have collected the enough data, after defining the problem, you have established the objectives, collected the entire uh, relevant data, you have to develop alternatives. Never accept the first feasible option. Keep brainstorming and develop as many alternatives you can. More options you generate, greater are the chances of finding a better solution. Only uh, stop generating more options when the cost and delay of further search exceeds the benefit. Explore and evaluate the options vis-a-vis -vis the objectives by listing the advantages, disadvantages, effects and the implications of each. Eliminate the unfavorable options immediately. Thereafter, consult the experienced people before making a final choice, taking the final options of the various alternatives you have thought about. 
then you must take a tentative decision, still not a final decision. Once settled for the best option, visualize the end result by running through the consequences. Then your action time. Once finalize the decision, commit resources, time and money for putting decisions into action. No matter how it turns out, no matter what is the consequences of the final decision taken, take personal responsibility of the decision. Reflect once you have decided. You reflect on this decision uh, making to evaluate what was right and what was wrong. Simply to avoid any mistake in future to ensure that you train your mind in such a manner that you have considered everything, sifted it properly, analyzed it completely and you take the right decision and every time you improve and next time you do not miss commit the same mistake. Train your mind to take a right decision. I am sure you will find a difference and all decisions coming out of the disciplined mind, they will be certainly best and the uh, correct ones.